Good morning. Morning. It's fourth uh, of July, and we're with Martin today, and we're doing a ride from Manchester to Blackpool. We're actually going from Oldham. Well, we both are doing well, 120 kilometers, and Martin is doing what 240 oh, all together. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we're doing a ride for charity Huntington's Disease Association, uh, and I will update you throughout of what it's all about. The actual start line of the event is in Soho Keys, so that's where we're going first. That's our 20, uh, first 20 kilometers. All right, just to give you a bit of an update on to why why we're doing this charity event. It's actually uh, a wife uh, of one of our friends. She's called Emma has Huntington's disease herself uh, and he's doing, she's doing sorry a lot of work to raise awareness uh, so yeah we just thought we'd show support and solidarity with the cause and uh, raise some money whilst we're at it uh, so for those of you who will be watching this uh, it will be after we've already done the ride but uh, you can still pay in uh, and the link will be I will leave the link in the description below under the video so you can still pay in for a couple of months after we've done the ride so this is an officially organized event uh, and when we're reading on the website it actually says that there's like around 4,000 cyclists every, every year taking part in it so let's see how that goes because last year it was actually cancelled uh, due to the pandemic uh, and it's restarting again from this year so we will find out but hopefully there should be a good crowd it's like a really early morning start for us the actual set off time from Sofa Keys is at 8 o'clock so uh, I think it must be just around 7 o'clock now maybe just before 7 uh, and we're just approaching Manchester city centre. We've arrived in Soho Keys, uh, first 20k done, and that's without even uh, joining the event yet. Look how many cyclists. set off from Sofa Keys and the group is just behind me now. Awesome. There's a funny story about the jerseys. You will notice the jerseys that we're all wearing uh, for the for the actual charity itself. Uh, and these jerseys were actually ordered uh, from Le Col and they actually arrived all the way from Italy. Uh, and there was a bit of a nervousness because I think I think they kind of arrived on Friday. And today is Sunday, so only two days before the actual event. But luckily, we've got them. And uh, the day is actually very really nice, by the way. Uh, there was some forecast for rain, actually, some thunderstorms for today. But luckily, and fingers crossed, so far so good. The weather is actually very, very kind to us. Uh, very nice, warm, not too sunny, but it's. You know, these are perfect conditions for cycling. So, let's see what the ride brings next. There's been a lot of people cheering us on actually on the way, which is nice.
just on our first stop. Uh, first stop, which is after, after the first 20k. Had something to eat, uh, some refreshments. Uh, and we uh, back on the road again. Nick, yeah. obviously you're uh, the uh, leader of the CCC club. Could you, oh, could you tell me a little bit more about the ride, why we're doing it? And well, obviously for the, for the charity, um, supporting Emma. If she's doing that, I'd, yeah. like to, I'd like to get her out on one of these ones. Yeah. It's quite a few enough to do it, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a shame really, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, but, you know, we'll be doing um, the marathon. Oh, yeah. In October. Right. So, is, that so the, is that the Manchester marathon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is she going to take part in it? Yeah, she's doing it. Well, I'm going to do... I'm going to do the full marathon. Yeah. We've got a team. Yeah. Um, Steve's that there somewhere he's doing a leg a bit like a 10k like yeah elaine's doing a 10k like emma's doing a 10k like and i was yeah. thinking of asking you if you want to do it <laughs> maybe i'll have a think about it even though i'm not really a, a runner no no well 10k you know you could trade for a 10k yeah uh, 10k oh. i think i could run it yeah. like probably now yeah <laughs> hopefully yeah 10, 10 k is a good yeah but what i was going to Suggest to you when we're having yeah. our little primers about jerseys turn up and stuff like that. Yeah. What I intend doing in I think that's October as well. Is the day when you've got the um, the Manchester one on. Yeah. And you've also got the tour of the bank on the same day. Yeah. So I thought well, we'll we'll roll the uh, fundraising forward. Oh right, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. So but I was going to leave it until the end of the ride and just see if everyone... That's okay, wants. at least uh, well, it's, on, it's on camera now, so we yeah, can advertise yeah. it, can't we? Yeah, I have sort of mentioned it in dispatches quietly, so... That's great. Yeah, yeah, great idea. Right. So, yeah, well, that's, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. It's all right. Okay, so I'm with Paul now. Uh, I've got two questions. Two questions for you, two, Paul. Two questions. First question is, uh, why are you into cycling? I uh, started cycling to raise money for my friend oh, about yeah. four years ago. Oh yeah. I've uh, been doing it since. Yeah. And to keep fit. And the second question, thank you, is uh, what made you do this particular charity event? Uh, obviously, one of our friends Billy, his wife suffers from Huntington, so yeah. it's a good cause. Yeah, Keeps definitely. Us fit. Definitely. Win win for everyone to raise a bit of money as well. Fantastic. And then drink beer after. <laughs> Thanks very much. No problem. I'm with Martin. And again, just a couple of questions. Uh, First question, what got you into cycling? Uh, I cycle to work pretty much every, every day, so yeah, it's a good, uh, good way of keeping fit uh, and just being social, social rides, yeah, that kind of thing. Cool. And why, you could just tell me in a few words why, you, why you're taking part in this event today. Uh, taking part because uh, Nick forced me to. He said if I didn't take part, <laughs> I'd be banned from the cycling club. Is that true? <laughs> I think we need to uh, verify that. It's in the handbook. <laughs> Apparently, it's in the handbook. <laughs> uh, that's, cool. that's a cool answer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, just taking part to raise money for this uh, charity. Good charity. Oh, good. Uh, and get out on a really long ride really as well yeah it's yeah nice to get out. oh uh, it's really good yeah yeah all uh, right thanks martin thanks, thanks very much
I'm with Billy, uh, we're just at the, uh, another stop. So Billy, if you could just tell me um, you know, about the event and why we're doing it and what's behind this. Yeah, so we're doing the Manchester Blackpool Bike Ride to raise money for HDA, which is the Huntington's Disease Association. Um, that's an illness that my wife suffers from, so we do fundraising nearly every year just to raise some money and uh, this year we've got 25 cyclists all raising money and doing the bike ride yeah fantastic and how much do you uh, how much uh, do you think you to raise you know, yeah. hopefully we get to 10,000 hopefully yeah. everyone gets their hands in the pockets yeah, get some more money yeah. in hopefully yeah so it's all for a really good cause so please donate yeah I've started fetting because we have a bit of uh, rain. Uh, there's been a few droplets coming down. Hopefully, uh, it will not start raining properly. Fingers crossed. So far, we've avoided the rain even though it's like it tried to rain a little bit, but then it stopped. I'm just going to show you the skies right now. Have a look. Yeah, so it's pretty, you know, it looks like it could rain. But hopefully not. Uh, but it's been a lovely day, lovely ride uh, so far. What's really cool about this as well is that you can't... Uh, Stuart, you know, showing you the actual way, which way you should be going, and a lot of people along the route have been very supportive, you know, clapping, uh, cheering us on, uh, even I've seen uh, there was a house along the route where someone put water out and said water for cyclists, uh, so yeah, Lots of kindness, which is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, it has started raining. It's pretty wet right now. We've all been drenched. Unfortunately, a lady from our group had a crash. Uh, I've not actually seen it, but uh, apparently she's being helped. But she, uh, so this wife, Elaine, she hit her elbow, I think, maybe her leg as well. So that's not good. But we're hoping that uh, both Elaine and Anthony will be able to rejoin us. <laughs> that's a leg who's just crashed. There you go. That's the sacrifice. <laughs> Elaine's just been uh, checked over in an ambulance and she's all good, she's all fine, it's all smiling, riding with us again, so it's fantastic. The sun's coming out again, which makes me happy. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to take that uh, rain jacket off soon. Right, we've just hit 100 kilometers since we left home. So that's a, a thing to celebrate. Only 20 to go. Fantastic. Getting close to Blackpool now. Uh, we've 
just past Leven. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice here. Quite picturesque. Come on! <laughs> come on, come on, you can do it! <laughs> Smile! Yay! <laughs> Smile! <laughs> Okay. Yep. <laughs> We're just on uh, Blackpool South Promenade now, uh, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, we're not far off <laughs> our destination now. And the ride has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, really can't complain, that's what you live for, <laughs> those experiences. Right, we've officially arrived and we're nearly at the finish line now. So, have a look. This is the team. Looks absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody, for raising money to the charity. So that's what happens when you arrive. Uh, lots of people, refreshments, uh, really cool. I think we're gonna go and get our medals, or we should get our medals now. So that's the medal that we've got for it today. And if you've already donated, thank you very much. And uh, now we've done it, uh, please donate. And like I said at the beginning of the ride, the Just Giving page is gonna be active for another few months. Uh, thank you. All donations count. So Emma has actually arrived at St. Anne's. Now we're here at the pub. So it's very nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. In person. Uh, and uh, would you like to say just a few words about the charity? And, uh, yeah. Um, the HDA have been uh, a great support for me and my family over the last few years. Um, so every year we try and come up with different ways of raising awareness and much needed funding because it's a tiny little charity. So uh, it's a big massive thank you to everybody that's taken part in this massive cycle and to everybody who's going back as well a massive well done um, yeah we'll see you all next year yeah, cheers thank you very much